Yo, what up? It's your boy Dream Flight here. Um, God, um, I just put up this video with this little drone landing pad that I made. Yeah, it, it's it's kind of cool. I'm gonna get into that, and I'm gonna get I'm getting some new stuff tomorrow. All right, holla at me. I'm getting some new stuff tomorrow. We're gonna get into that too. All right. Um, they about to change my hours at work, so I'm about to be living like a normal dude. Not working the night shift anymore, so we'll be able to do more videos. But um, let's get into this real quick. I want to do a real quick video here. All right, this the landing pad. My girl showed me. Look, it folds up. You know what I mean? Flat, that flat. The landing pad's pretty dope. You know what I mean? Everything's on it. Put it in the trunk of your car. You know what I mean? That's pretty hot, all right? Flip the thing open. All of a sudden, boom. It's a drone landing pad with a light. Huh? All that. Love it. We're getting into things like that being creative. You know what I'm saying? Let me grab the camera here. Yeah. It's a drone landing pad right there. With the pickup light. Now we do over here. All right? Now... One thing that we had issues with is, um, you know, since we're using the big tablet there, we get a little wobble on here. You know what I mean? Excuse my hands. I'm at work. So we had got this from Gimbal Guard. You know what I mean? At the same time, I got that from Gimbal Guard. What else did I get? I got, yeah, I got that bullshit tracker mode holder. That didn't even work. You know what I mean? That thing broke like after like five flights, but whatever. I ordered this also. So when I got it, let's get the controller over here. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get my controller over here. All right. Let's get it in a situation. See, I had cut. I cut the thing off, you know? Because the way that they give it to you, you're supposed to just take this little piece and put it right there, right? What? You see, I got I got the silicone around my controller. So even when I put this on, wasn't doing nothing. Called these people like Gimbal Guard. They was like, ah, well, we don't know what to tell you. So I'm like, yo, let me glue this thing. You know what I mean? So I glued it. It worked out good. You know, but this thing was $10. I had to wait for it to come from Israel. I was really mad about that took like 20 days but i finally cut it off tonight because i got something coming tomorrow we're gonna show you what we're gonna do with this thing tomorrow to make this more stable all right i'm also ordering a cover for the tablet you know what i mean and another thing a couple guys me and my drone fellas that be flying out here they asked me like name the three most important parts and mods, if you will, that I got on my Phantom, all right? Um, number one, I must say, uh, $60 a year, $139 it was for the track mode here. I mean, this thing right here is a lifesaver. Like, I mean, my drone's never flown away or nothing like that, but... Just, I, I might even get one for my kid, you know what I mean? Because it's so little, you know what I mean? And I got a, my man, see, I got my mounted on the front. Usually if you get the gimbal guard, it mounts on the side over here. And that throws off your propellers and your center of gravity. Me being a real world pilot, like, we know the importance of the center of gravity. So, you know, especially when you're making turns and stuff like that. It's better to have the mount on the front. I got this from uh, Space City Drones, Utah, SpaceCityDrones.com. Boy Jason over there, he's real cool. You know, I just cut a little thing in the silicone there so I could charge it while it's still in there. All right. But the track mode, that, 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 that saves drones, man. Recovering, everything like that. All right. Wherever it is. And when it's on, even when you, you put your drone in your car and you're riding around, it tracks wherever you're driving, everything. It's real dope. I love it. 
All right, we're going to get into the second thing. Everybody got, like, some sort of, you know, you get this plastic clip over here that comes with the drone to keep it clipped. But I'm going to just tell everybody, you got to you gotta keep your lens covered. You know what I mean? This thing is cool. You know, it's dirt cheap off Amazon. You know, it's got the thing covered up right there. All right? That's mod number two. Mod number three. Gimbal guard, man. Gimbal guard. Must have. Dirt cheap. If you don't have a gimbal guard, man, you ain't cool. You're not cool without a gimbal guard. You know what I mean? You got to have the gimbal guard. All right? That's the third. And the fourth is, let's see. Let's pull out the little box of tricks. Got the dog food down there and all that. Let's see what we got here. Got this box. But I'll be taking out home. I'll set this up on the chair. Let's see how this does. This is my little box of tricks right here. The fourth thing, especially I'm out on uh, Long Island. There's a lot of trees out here. People are in the city in New York. They got to deal with buildings. I got to deal with trees. But at least trees only grow to a certain point. But when I'm landing and I'm coming in, usually there's a lot of trees around. So... You know, I got the quick disconnect prop cards. You know, they add weight. It's not that bad. I got multi different colors that I put on for different occasions. This is my little field box that I bring. I got my screwdrivers and stuff in there. Other stuff. You know what I mean? That's that's one of my boxes. But the prop guards, the quick disconnect prop guards, you can see the fittings on there. That's They work out real good. And I, I, I haven't really seen a decrease in performance since I've been using those. All right. But those are the four mods that I did to it that I say, you know, that's that's what you want to do right off the bat. Pretty much did them right off the bat. And this other thing that I got that I've been testing out the last couple of days, but last two days haven't been able to fly over here. We've been having 50 mile an hour gusts of wind. But these right here, these my bug glasses, man, scored. They they they're pretty cheap, you know what I mean. But you put them on, and yeah, that's another upgrade that I did. You put them on, and if you look at my controller here, I got the HDMI just hanging out because I did the HDMI module upgrade on a controller. That was dirt cheap. Did it myself, real easy. So, you know, I hooked these goggles up to the thing when I got sun glare. I got a sun hood and all that. That all came from Drone World. But, you know, who wants to be looking like that? You look crazy. You know, I'd rather look crazy with the things that look like sunglasses on. You know, I got them. And that's how I see first-person view. And it's great because instead of the goggles, I got the glasses. So I still got that peripheral underneath the bottom. I could check out what's going on on the screen. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's that's something to look into. Get yourself some per first person goggles. You know? And um for any pilot that's flying these drones, man, if you're not flying on Litchi and you're not recording every flight with healthydrones.com, man, I gotta say, man, ever since I started using this Litchi app and I got the up upload token to the uh, healthydrones.com and that healthydrones.com man gives you a lot of information about your batteries, your overall drone, each of your motors, everything. It it gives you a whole breakdown after every flight. It records every flight. It takes pictures automatically whether or not you're recording the whole time. So and listen, I'm not. I don't work for Litchi. Litchi didn't pay me to, but. I'm a Phantom 3 owner that's had it for about a month now, and I'm a real-world pilot, too, so, you know, I wanted to see what's the difference between flying this and flying a real plane, and a lot of the characteristics intertwine, you know what I mean, and I'm telling you, that Litchi app with that full autopilot, that's the way to go, you know, so, um, yeah, those, those are the mods that I did to mine. I got some parts coming in tomorrow. Sorry, we got the inside video, but it's too windy outside right now. So we just in here watching drone videos and stuff. 
and uh, checking out everybody else's channel until we able to get in the air again. You know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy, Dream Flight Productions. You know what it is. I'll see you next time.